New right now at 10, much needed safety improvements outside the Florabama are nearly complete after a construction delay on the Florida side of the property. Close calls and incidents involving pedestrians being struck by vehicles over the years have raised safety concerns, leading to the joint state project. ABC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight from Perdido Key with how these changes could save lives. Corey. Well, Greg, Kim, the problem lies here where a multi-lane beach highway turns into a two-lane road, a dangerous situation for anyone not paying attention. Some improvements are already in place, but others are coming soon. The Florabama has remained one of the most iconic spots along the Gulf Coast for decades. And as the crowds have grown, increasing foot traffic along the busy beach highway, so have the number of motorists on it. We've just gotten to the point where there are so many people down here. You have a five-lane highway going into a two-lane highway. It's a significant challenge. John McGinnis, Florabama's owner, says he's been working with transportation officials from Alabama and Florida for the last two years to improve safety. Last November, a motorist fleeing police nearly struck pedestrians outside of the bar. And in 2017, eight sailors stationed at NAS Pensacola were hit by an alleged drunk driver. Years ago, we had um, a beloved Florabama uh, employee hit and killed on our crosswalk and so we take it really serious. Last year work began on the project with ALDOT putting in new turn lanes and new striping. An improved crosswalk and new signs were also added. McKenna says FDOT's bidding process was delayed but its contributions are on the way. A signalized crosswalk, uh, some signage, uh, some new striping and some turn lanes. McKenna says they'll also install new speed bumps. Meanwhile, the Floribama is also planning to improve the parking lots on both sides of the highway. Customers we spoke to say they believe the changes could help prevent another tragedy. Safety is always the top priority out here for most people. I'm glad to see the improvement. Anything will keep them safe. Last sound bite. McKenna says they're also looking to hire crossing guards to help reduce the number of Escambia County deputies they currently pay to do that job. Now the project is expected to be completed in September. Reporting live in Portillo Key tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.